My music is now played all over the world. It's been performed in the Carnegie Hall, it's been performed at the Royal Albert Hall in Vienna, Berlin. I've been blessed with a life in music and uh, it all started here. In the old mining heartlands of East Asia, Sir James Macmillan, the celebrated composer, has returned to the working class community, his words, where he grew up. He's rehearsing a piece to be performed nearby at the music festival he founded. Its composer is not James Macmillan, but the 15-year-old sitting alongside him. It's wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you very much. It's quite overwhelming because we've heard it on like laptops and that, and they heard it played properly. It was it's exciting. So this is coming up Town Hall. It's a place where kids like myself would have played uh, their first concerts on the stage there. A lot of the music provision that people like myself uh, received back in the 60s and 70s was free. If the um, opportunities hadn't been there, in a free sense, I wouldn't have had the life of music that I had. And I would like to see kids from backgrounds like this, kids from my kind of background, being given that opportunity. Throughout the UK, free instrumental tuition for children is fading away in a crescendo of council cuts. There are concessions for the poorest pupils, but in Scotland, most local authorities now charge for music lessons. One council doubled its fees this year to over £500. My parents didn't have a lot of money. My father uh, is a retired joiner, so there was a manual labour, labourer's uh, money coming into the house, like so many other kids here. I think when local authorities start charging, it will mean that the local authority, the government or whoever, is essentially putting a barrier in the way of ordinary people uh, finding their way to this huge life-enhancing gift, which is music. Uh, and that's a tragedy. Uh, uh, it's a scandal. I just concentrate so much on on my music that I'm playing when I'm playing it, that I just forget about everybody that's there that's, and I just concentrate on that. Well, I didn't really pick the cello for any particular reason. I didn't actually know what any of them were. I just did whatever one was there. And I enjoy it. It's good. This is Cumnock Academy, the school James Macmillan credits with nurturing his musical talent. Every primary school pupil in Scotland is now entitled to a year's free music tuition funded by the Scottish Government. After that, fees fluctuate from place to place. In music, where you're from, matters. When I grew up in the 60s and 70s, there were people like me populating the British orchestras. Um, the, the whole British brass sections, for example, seem to be made up of children of minors from Fife. And that's changing. Um, we, I can see that uh, the, the world of the orchestra, the world of classical music generally, is becoming more bourgeois in its makeup, and that's exactly the opposite of what we want uh, to achieve and, and try to build in this country. Local authorities say their budgets are stretched. Over a decade, the number of music service teachers in Scotland has fallen more than 40%. It leaves one great musician wondering where the next will come from. Well, we've heard from the Scottish Government. In a statement, they told us local authorities are directly responsible for spending on music tuition in schools. Overall funding to councils is increasing in real terms, despite continued UK government cuts to Scotland's resource budgets. While respecting the autonomy of local councils, Scottish ministers have committed to help ensure instrumental music remains accessible to all.